First, give an honor and glory to God who is the head of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Shantara. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith, you guys. Happy Friday. You guys know that I am up just asking God for divine connections, divine movement, divine placement. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. All I know is I'm up early and I'm ready. And I just pray that, you know, that breakthrough is here for us. Um, I had something on my heart that I wanted to share this morning before I start my day. And um, the Lord was just ministering to me because the enemy has been wearing me out, wearing me out with situation after situation, situations with my kids day after day. You know what I'm saying? Like being hit, the uh, abuse with TJ, you know, things going on with Teriana, things going on with Deanna, like every single day it has been something. So even in me saturating, reading my words, staying prayed up, like it's always something that comes to like kick me while I'm down and just drag me literally 10, 15, 20 steps back as far as like mentally and spiritually. And so the Lord was ministering to me this morning telling me that beware of the enemy's playbook. Just like you know me, and I've said this before, he was saying, just like you know me, you need to know the enemy and you need to know what he does. And he brought me the scripture. What is that? He brought me the scripture this morning. It's um, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. We all know that there's only one king lion of judah we all know that god is the only one but the enemy is as a roaring lion seeking walking about seeking whom he may devour his goal is to tire us out in this hour his goal is to deplete us in this hour his goal is to get our minds so wrapped up and bottled up in what is going on that we are distracted from the promises of God. We are distracted from the promises of God. What is that, a piece of skin? We are distracted from the promises of God. His goal is to keep us weary, blinded, and distracted from the promises of our God. Because if you continue to read on, it says nine five and nine whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren th brethren that are in the world <laughs> but there's always good news five and ten says but the god of all grace who has called us unto his eternal glory by christ jesus after that you have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen and settle you the bible also says that many afflictions are of the righteous but the lord delivers them out of them all and if the enemy can continue to keep us distracted and focus on what's happening we lose sight of the promises of god all of God's promises are yes and amen. Lord, take this cup from me, but nevertheless, let it be not my will, but your will be done. I don't want anything in my life that is not of God. I don't want anybody attached to me that is not of God. I don't want anything for my life, in my life, doing in my life that God does not want for me. The enemy... <coughs> has been <clears throat> roaring as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. 
every day hey, he has been testing and trying and testing and trying and testing and trying and my 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 body my soul my everything is just so tired <laughs> to say the least so so tired said father god and the lord ministered to me this morning Minister to me this morning. My promises. You stand on my promises. You stand on the word of God. These are distractions that's trying to keep you from the breakthrough. Know the enemy's playbook. Know the enemy. Know that different things come up to deter us, to distract us. Know that different people come into our lives as bait to try to get us to go in the wrong direction, to keep our promise delayed. Because what's yours is yours, baby. What's mine is mine. It cannot be taken away from me. But it can be delayed due to certain things. It can be, you know, because of our mind, we get so bottled up. We get so, you know, our head hung low based on what the enemy is doing. He's trying to tire us out in this moment. You're trying to tire us out in the ring. We are fighting the good fight of faith and you are trying to literally devour us in this moment. But the Lord has reminded me this morning that the gates of hell shall not prevail. No weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. He's fake. You're the adversary. The devil as a roaring lion, you walk about seeking whom you may devour. You're not real. You're not real. This situation is not real. It's a test of my faith and it's a test. And I said, Father God, I don't really hear you. I don't really, you know, I do hear you ministering to me sometimes, but you're, you're very quiet. The teacher is always quiet as during a test. I'm testing you. I am the potter and you are the clay. I'm shaping and molding you and how never dare will I tell the potter how to mold the clay. You do as you please. Allow your will to be done, Father God. And I said it before, if you move up, chapter 5 and 5, for God resists the proud and give grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Trust in God. Hold on to his promises. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Thank you, Father God. In the presence of God, there is the fullness of joy. I'm going to continue to saturate myself in his word. I'm going to continue to lift up my hands. I'm going to continue in praise and worship. I'm going to continue to seek his face. I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to continue to ask him to keep me covered and to guide me and lead me and direct me in the path and in the way that I should go. But the Lord is telling us today, just like you know me, know the enemy's playbook. Know the enemy's playbook. Know that in this hour, he is trying to wear you out so that you are distracted, bombarded, and not focused on the promise. God's word is true. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. The word was God. This is truth. But the God of all grace who has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, will make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and will settle you. Our time is here. Our time is now. And if we know and understand that the enemy is trying to devour us in this hour and understand that God is saying that no matter what he does, the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. In Jesus' holy, mighty name, I came to encourage you on today. If you have been feeling anything like I have been feeling, tired, weary, worn out, just, Lord, have mercy. I'm, I'm praying. I'm, I'm, I'm seeking you. I'm fasting. I'm worshiping. I'm crying. I'm, I'm all of these things, Father God. I'm tired. I'm wore out. He gave me this scripture today, chapter 5, 1 Peter chapter 5, 
verse 8. The enemy is seeking to devour us in this hour because he knows that the promise lies in verse 10. So if you can devour us in verse 8, we won't make it to see verse 10. The devil is a liar. There is no truth in him. He's playing a big game. I pray that you are encouraged today. This encouraged me today because I have been weary. I have been tired. I have been wore out. Every day is something. It seems like every time I go out, I'm gone all day and every door is shut and slammed in my face. It's a no. It's a no. Or I just gave up the position. Or I just gave up, you know, this. I just hired the person before you. Or I just, oh, I don't, that shift. Somebody just took the shift. Every minute, every second, every hour is something negative happening to keep me Focus on what the enemy is playing around and doing. No, the promise is here. God cannot lie. He is not man. He watches over his word to perform it. His word shall not return back unto him void. He cannot lie. If you remain steadfast in the word of God, if you remain and hold on to his promises, if you resist the devil, he will flee so that you may obtain verse 10 the God of all grace who has called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that you have suffered a while make you perfect establish strengthen and settle you many afflictions are of the righteous but the Lord delivers them out of them all it's only a matter of time I will not be distracted I will not continually I will not be distracted by what the enemy is doing you're not doing nothing you're not more powerful than the God that I serve. You're not. And if I have the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and not even be harmed, I tap into that authority. I tap into that authority. I have the power to trample over serpents and scorpions and not even be harmed. I have the same authority that rests in Christ Jesus. It's in me. And I use it. I tap into it. I decree and I declare a thing on today. May you be blessed. May you walk in victory. May you walk in assurance. May you walk in confidence. May you walk in grace. And may the God of all gods, Luke 2.52, you on today. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and found favor with God and man. May you be Luke 252 on today. In Jesus' holy mighty name, to God be the glory. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23 and until the next time. Inspire. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.